find the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So here we're going to use something called the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says you have a function f divided by g and you take the derivative. Think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. That's all over the bottom one um, squared. So here, when we take the partial with respect uh, to x, our top function is x minus y and our bottom function is x plus y. Now, when we compute partial derivatives, uh, we treat all of the other variables as constants. So the derivative of negative y here is going to be 0. So we'll start by taking the derivative of the top. So that gives us 1. And that's because, again, the derivative of the y is 0 because it's a constant times the bottom, and then minus the top function, so x minus y, and then times the derivative of the bottom, um, which is just 1, because the derivative of y is 0. That's all over the bottom 1 squared. So this is equal to, so let's see, uh, it looks like the x's cancel, and so you get y uh, minus negative y, over x plus y squared, just like that. End up with y plus y, so this is just 2y over x plus y squared. And that would be the partial derivative with respect to x.